Hi everybody, it's Colette Baron reed Welcome to this week's Oracle Card Guidance and Weather Report. I am using a Celtic Cross reading, but with wisdom of the Oracle. This was my teaching deck at my school. And if you own this deck and you have never given it a review, there's a link below. It would mean so much to me if you would give me a good review on Amazon. Thank you so much in advance um, and an honest one. All right, <laughs> let's get going and talk about this week's energy. Let's just see what we're experiencing this week or what we need to experience this week. I love this card. Okay, I don't think we've ever had this this entire year where the first card or the anchor card that anchors our entire story for the week is about not taking ourselves seriously. This is the humor card. When happy, happy is in the protection position, it means that we have to stop taking ourselves so seriously and have a sense of humor about the audacious life that, uh, you know, and all the stuff that's going on around us. We have to start having a sense of humor, right? And see the absurdity of life basically is what it's saying. Now let's find out what the obstacle is or the energy that helps us over an obstacle. Let's see. Oh, it's observer. So this is great. So the energy here is about when we take ourselves too seriously or our, our life, I always say our life is suction cupped onto the end of our nose, right? We can't see past the end of our nose. It's all about me, 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 and mine, 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 and blah, blah, blah. But this is saying, mm, let's peel that off and just be curious. So the way that we move around any obstacle this week is about curiosity. So I love these two cards. It tells me this is a week I gotta have a sense of humor and just be curious and say, look, I wonder what that means. Like, what do you make it mean? I say that a lot in my teaching. So now let's take a look at the foundation of this reading and that's chaos and conflict in protection. And what I love about this card when it's in protection, it says stuff's happening anyway. You can't control what's going on in the outer world. Don't even try but we can doing those things stay in the center of the storm. We don't have to be thrown around by the winds of change. It said, jump right in. And no reason why um, you have to define yourself by the chaos or the conflict that surrounds you. This is really about, hey, have a sense of humor, come back to ground, um, you know, be curious about what the world is offering you and stay out of the drama. Just stay out of the drama. No drama llamas. Okay. Now, what have we learned this week? What, what lesson are we bringing with us? that's already been integrated and it's being, when we are not ready, the poised card is in the protection position. So when we are in beginner mind, um, and we recognize that we don't know, we might not be ready for what's there, etc. And who is ever these days ready for anything? Well, you have to kind of be ready for anything. Um, so this is saying, we've learned that. We've learned that saying, I don't know, is a very, very good, very smart thing to say when you don't understand what's going on around you, etc. And so this way you take it less personal. You take the world less seriously, even though the world is serious, but you find your center in all of this stormy stuff and you go, I'm going to enjoy myself anyway. And you have to give yourself permission to do that instead of staring at, um, it's like, you know how everybody slows down on the highway and looks at the accident. It feels like the entire world is a giant accident. So we want to take our, take our vision back. Wait a sec. I don't want to look at that. I want to look here and then do my part. I take, put the oxygen mask first on my face, have a sense of humor, and then bring my energy to the rooms, to the world around me, to whoever you're with, so that it is that you are not adding to the chaos and the drama. That's that's what this is talking about. Okay, so let's take a look at what's our highest good is sorting through friendships. Uh, this is the highest we can attain. It is about sorting through people. Soulmates are in protection. I think this is also about dropping your expectations for other people. You know, it's like having these high expectations that are impossible. You know, and giving giving other people a bit of slack. Um, the disappointment that happens when you didn't get your way, but who said that was your way? You know what I mean? We all have to kind of look at that this week. Oh, geez, I wonder what's going to be happening. <laughs> um, anyway, so again, it's like, instead of saying, oh, that person is wrong, it's like, oh, well, maybe my expectations, I had assumptions about this person or these people. So it's also check your assumptions at the door and allow be curious, allow people to show you who they are, as opposed to like, I expect you to be this. I'm like, okay, right? So this is a week where we really have to, you know, wear the world very loosely, very, very loosely. 
Now what's around the corner is the building blocks card also in protection. So what I love about this card is that it enables us to say, okay, so I'm renovating. I'm renovating my life right now. That means that in a renovation, sometimes the, the nuts and the bolts and the screws are not put in their drawer, right? Sometimes it's a bit messy and we have to lay down new flooring. And this is great because we're not expected to have it all together. That this is the other thing. Don't have an expectation that you should know everything and have everything all together. This is really about, oh, I'm in the middle of a, a home renovation inside and I'm gonna give myself the opportunity to let go my expectations, to just be curious and have a sense of humor about what is in store. And I can totally identify with these two cards because we live in a fixer upper. There's always something that's going on here. Um, so we have the chaos and conflict in that kind of diagonal to building blocks and protection. That makes total sense. It, it does feel like the dust doesn't have any place to settle when we're constantly renovating, right? And making improvements. That's the other thing. This is about improvements and having fun. Okay, now I'm gonna take the four cards here and these four cards are gonna tell me events that we could experience or just other energies uh, that are there. How am I doing, Mark? This is the part that I, I have the hardest time doing. I think I did it. What? These guys? Okay. And then what? And these guys? Yay, I'm looking at the camera over there. He's got this big screen so that I could, and it's still, whatever. It's just like, ah, he'll still might, he still might run over here and change them. Okay, let's talk about these cards. So we have new life with a leg up. We don't have to do this by ourselves, right? And new life works with poised and protection. We don't know. This is a fairy. The picture on this card is great. The fairy is coming out of an egg and it's stretching. And does it know it can fly yet? I don't know. Does, can it walk? Who knows? It's coming right out of an egg. What happens when a little baby chick comes out of the egg? It's got to learn how to do its, its chicken self, right? <laughs> so the self, the self that we are aspiring to become, this transformed version of ourselves, therefore life, right? takes a while before we get the hang of it and we don't do it by ourselves. Most importantly that we take a nap from our never ending story. Um, so this is good because it's very easy that we get triggered in a transformative moment that um, when things are not settled or stable, and, and I talked about this at Oracle Palooza Virtual throughout the weekend, about the fact that the one thing we all gave up was our certainty or a tight hold on certainty. And when certainty is challenged or our version of certainty, whatever that may be, we keep trying to control things. Well, it doesn't work. And then what happens is we get back into the, you know, I'm unhappy, I'm disappointed, this is no good, and they did this to me, and they did that to me, and this reminds me of my mom, and da 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 so the never ending story is there, wah, wah, wah. and I'm not making fun to, I kind of am, I am making fun of us, all of us, um, because we can get there. Those little goblins that live inside us all of a sudden start wailing and whining when in fact, if we could see things with a better sense of humor and with curiosity, we can say, ooh, maybe that is not gonna serve me. Maybe seeing through the lens of, I never get what I want, I'm unworthy, I'm not happy, this isn't good, blah, blah, blah. Maybe then if we take a nap from that, we then can see, oh, there's help here and there is new life and I really don't know what it's like yet. So this is an interesting week. I can hardly wait to see what transpires for all of us. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Is there anything for me to say to them, Mark? No. Except I love them? Yeah. Awesome, yay, this has been so much fun. Subscribe to my channel if you love this video, and I'm sure you do, and if you want to share this with your friends because you think they might be interested in what's coming up for the week, leave a comment, we love to read your comments, and I'll see you next time. Oh, and thumbs up, I like those thumbs. Thumbs up, oh, that tells people that I'm awesome. Okay, <laughs> take care, see you next time.